All right, let's look at a cool gaming PC. Figure out some stuff with it. It looks cool, but I hate the case. We're gonna start by zooming way out. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. It's an alien looking PC. It's this thing we've all seen photos of on the internet. So, customer complains that uh, uh, the computer shuts off after a short time. All right, so let's start off by seeing what it does. So, with as with most gaming computers, we just want to get a baseline for what it's doing so that we can come through and we can say, hey, here's what we were able to identify ahead of time. And then kind of go from there. So some interesting things about this. This is this has a mechanical riser on here, which is not just a cable, it's actually a full bracket, which is kind of nice. And then as far as what this card is, I do believe, I think this is a 3090, 3080. I have no way of actually saying what it is. It's a gigabyte card. It's an Aorus card. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we, once we get it powered on and up. So, power. And you gotta find the power button on this thing. Which is right there. I'll just do it that way. I can't see the power button. Back when Aorus was like, hey, how do we do something cool? They put a single LED. Look at this. They put a single LED on these. So you get this cool, it's cool effect. All right, so reboot and selected device. So that's one thing we're getting. It is an odd case. I want to start off in the BIOS. Yeah, this card does look pretty dope, doesn't it? So in person, you like the strobing effect you guys are seeing, I do not see the strobing effect. It just looks like a solid circle to me. So you're seeing the LED refresh rate on this. And then this is like the super thin blades on this. This is like, this card is actually like a really cool card. Like the super, super fine blades that's offset from the top blades just for moving stuff. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, it's fun. Open case designs have been around forever. And there is a glass panel that goes over this. That's what these are for. But they did not bring in the glass panel. But then again, it's still not, still not open. Or closed, excuse me. So underneath this riser, you can see down here, we have a Sabrent SSD, which Actually, it's a gigabyte SSD, two terabytes. Let's put this back into UEFI and see if it starts booting now. See if it's just that simple. It's not. I will say these, this, the cables on this are quite chunky. I didn't like that. All right, well, all right, well, this is, now we're gonna, we get to have fun with this. So I need to, <laughs> This is immediately gonna run into one of the fall, uh, the failures of this. So I need to get that NVMe out of there. Let's see how easy this is gonna be. Well, it's not, it doesn't look like it'll be too hard. Never, I've never seen an Aorus thing. This thing probably weighs half a pound. This thing is solid AF. All right, let's plug it into an external enclosure and see what we get in a different computer. Go back to my diagnostic rig here. This. I am not going to be able to keep open. Let's take a like that. Goes in there like that. Go. And spinny spin. All right. Now let's power it on. See what we can see. Okay. So the drive is actually there. Oh. So it looks like it's just a failed Windows install. Because the user account is completely missing. That would be super nice if it was easy. If it was that easy. It's not. So looking at this, there are no SATA drives going into there. So let me call them and see. See what he wants to do. All right. Let's go ahead and put this screw back in there. Actually, let's just put the whole thing in there. Because the drive itself is fine. Ah, foreshadowing. This is gonna be, this is gonna be contentious. There we go. 
go. There we go. Oh, yeah, I said that and it ended up being okay. There we go. That's in there. That unplugged. Out to the side. So the guy who owns this is it's, his, it's the brother of the guy who owns the tattoo shop upstairs. So when they get in, I'm sure he'll swing down and he'll talk to me. The next day. Oh boy. All right. There's this thing again. That's right. I don't know where the where the power button is on this case, so I have to hit it here. All right. So we're gonna install Windows 10 on this. That's fine. That's fine. Still like these little LED things. Start getting drivers installed in this thing. I got a a, a mouse cable holder because the mouse cable for this is running such a long distance it's actually pulling on my cable it's quite aggravating your blue screen we need to start running some stress tests on this thing mm, now it's not detecting the drive that's fun yeah i think i'm gonna need to run a full hardware check on this all right so we need to get into higher ends here now all right, that's, we need to run a hardware check. Diagnostic, go. Okay, yeah, so something's up with, something's up with that guy. So, the question comes down to, is it the slot on the motherboard? Or, this thing is easily like, 100 degrees right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I think this thing's dead. The straight up dead. Let me make sure it's not my drive for some reason. Yeah, this thing is like really, really, really hot. You can kind of see it over here just sneaking in. Let me see, I'm gonna see if I can tell you exactly how hot this thing is. I'm wondering if there's just something dead on it. Yeah, so this thing is 60C. Should not be that hot. All right. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, let me call him. Okay, I started working on this thing more, ran a stress test on it, and now uh, yeah, this thing's dead. Alright. So, that puts an end to this. Real quick, as soon as I need to order that. Got that ordered. Um, will you update number 19 to waiting on parts ordered, please? thing off my desk and we're going to actually tear this down tear down this ssd real quick and see if we can't figure out exactly what is causing this temperature uh just put it completed or it's not started to show five all right so let's take a look at this thing real quick see if we can't figure out what's going on. all right let's take a second and look at this guy and figure out what's going on with it it's getting up to about 60. So this thing is getting up to roughly 60 degrees whenever I have it plugged in. So let's take it apart real quick. Take a look at it under a microscope. See if we see anything wrong. See if we got a short on it. It's acting mighty strange. So let's just go ahead and get it apart. On the side, this is an Aorus. Oops. An Aorus SSD. So of course on the inside here we have just a little thermal pad. And then on the 
the other side we also have a thermal pad. All right, and you can see, whew, this thing has a bend to it. Now that's fun. Well, anyways, let's see if we can just visually see anything. This, that doesn't look good. see anything that screams hey here's why you're having such high over temperature conditions let's check it spin this around a little bit let's start checking these guys i don't need this one in here i keep taking this one out i only need the one all right well let's plug it in that seems to be the only way i'm going to get any temperature out of this thing and I can figure out looking at it under, we'll look at it under the thermal camera and see if we can't figure out where that is coming from. All right, so let's get this plugged in. Let's get this turned on. See if we can't identify where this hotspot is coming from. And we'll put this together. Right now we have nothing. Power it on immediately, we get nothing. Uh, also, did not turn on for some reason. It's not transferring. Oh, yeah, there it goes. All right. So, we, we do have something getting hot. Fortunately, it appears what's getting hot. Hmm, nothing. Nothing's getting hot. Which doesn't make any sense. Why was it getting so hot in when it was in its housing? And now it's just showing up. And it appears to be working. Could it have been something with this? I don't see how. I hate when stuff like this happens where... Like, you think you've determined what is going on and then in reality... It has nothing to do with that. It's super aggravating. Alright, let's do, I guess we're gonna do another test here. What if it's that motherboard? It shouldn't be, because it wasn't reading in that external drive either. Let's see if we start getting heat spikes on this. I'm running a an extended uh, Hard drive check on it. All right, we're just gonna give that a couple seconds. And go from there. See, the thing is, is it like as long as it's, it's two terabytes, sure, but it should not be taking this long. Hmm. What could possibly going on? It could be a socket issue, which would be very unfortunate seeing as I'm about to put another one in there. The thing is, it, it also did not work when I put it in to this, so I'm just, I'm a little confused. So, at this point, let's see, I'm gonna run this test. I'm actually gonna grab another computer while it's going. Is this thing, I'm wondering if it just has to hit a certain like power state when it happens. I don't, just aggravating. All right, we're gonna look at this thing again. And All right. set this thing down once again. This ridiculous case. All right, I'm going to remove this and we're going to take a look at this. Let's see if we get the same temperature spike that we're seeing in slot two.
Because if we're not, then there's something wrong with this, with slot one on this thing. I wonder. I think I'm gonna reset the BIOS on this. Yeah, because this this that that memory controller on there is just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So let me let me try resetting some stuff. So it's not even detecting it in that second slot. Really? That's crazy. So right now this thing is at 65. Call that there. So I don't know if it's something like when I take it out of this motherboard, it seems to work fine. But when it's in this motherboard, it doesn't like being in there. The next day. Okay. This is where we hope that it's not the motherboard. I'm going to use a different slot, though, just to be safe. We're gonna take one of these PCI lanes and this thing is never gonna be swappable. Yeah, Emily, I'm still trying to work on this PC. All right, let's see what we get temperature wise. Yeah, that's the big thing. Let's see if I install windows on this, if it'll still work. That's what I said when the guy brought it in. He's like, yeah, it's my brother's. He doesn't have much taste. All right, so we got the NVMe installed. This is a brand new one. I hate this case. I hate how much this video card, this GPU just is like, I'm free. All right, we gotta stand this up. I don't want this hitting stuff. See, it already makes contact with the uh, with the memory. That's fun. Still haven't actually figured out where the power button is on this case. Oh, jeez. That's definitely not it, because it doesn't do anything. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.